Hello, my name is Gerald Espinoza, Clinical Specialist with PlanMeca USA. Today in this video, I will show you how and when to use the Move Feature icon. Let me start out by explaining how Move Feature works. Once I left click the Move Feature icon, we see that the tooth changes to multiple colors on the occlusal table. These are functional areas of the occlusal table. We can activate different areas such as mesial, distal, marginal ridges, each cusp tip, and the occlusal table by left clicking in the area and highlighting it. There are two different ways to adjust the highlighted areas. We can left click and hold, move our mouse, or two, we can use the directional arrows we see here. The directional arrows are used to move the highlighted area in yellow. To use, left click the arrow in the corresponding direction we want to move the yellow area. The material will move by the value we see on the upper right area of the directional arrows. We can adjust the value by left clicking the little arrow here and sliding the tab, or we can use the presets we see here. I almost always leave it at the default 100. So now that we know how it works, let's try to apply it. I can use it to adjust the marginal ridges up or down by left clicking the gingival or occlusal arrow. I like to use it when a cuss tip is kicked out. I'll use the directional arrows to adjust. So if I want to adjust the buckle cuss tip in, I will left click the lingual arrow. If I want to move the lingual cuss tip in, I'll left click the buckle arrow. Now let's move on. If we get to a point where the restoration is through the opposing or bite area, move feature can be used to bring the material under the bite or that we see less showing through before we use the refine contact icon to adjust the occlusion. Thanks for watching the video move feature. Come back and watch some more videos.